bra test for breast cancer and the latest news about the genes involved. The directions for a human being are written in code, three billion letters long. These instructions tell our bodies how to live, how to grow, how to die. Researchers call this code the sequence. Every year, nearly 200,000 American women are diagnosed with breast cancer. A girl born today has one chance in eight of developing breast cancer at some point in her life. A new electronic bra could soon help detect that cancer. The underwear, which is only in the testing phase, uses electrical currents to detect abnormal breast cells. A computer image highlights potential dangerous spots. To cure breast cancer, or at least make it easily treatable, we need to know what's happening in our genes. Five to ten percent of women with breast cancer have inherited a predisposition, and the remaining ninety percent of women who develop breast cancer uh, develop it sporadically. It's by chance, the cost of living. It's uh, like being hit by um, a truck if you're crossing the street. The number of different types of mutations that can cause a sporadic cancer are actually unknown. It isn't clear how diverse a set of genes are involved in that. Researchers at Cold Spring Harbor Lab in New York recently discovered a gene linked to breast cancer, sporadic breast cancer, the kind that just happens for unknown reasons. The gene is on chromosome 8 and is called DBC2, which means simply deleted in breast cancer, number 2. It's one of the two types of genes related to the growth of tumors. Most of the uh, physiology of the body is set up in this sort of yin-yang system where you have genes that propel an action and genes that inhibit an action. When you have too much of the genes that propel, you can get cancer, and when you lose the genes that inhibit, you can get cancer. DBC2 is in the category of genes that inhibit cancer, a tumor suppressor gene. It stops cancer cells from growing. The scientists found that DBC2 was missing, mutated or not expressed in about 60% of breast tumors they studied. The exact role of DBC2 is still unknown, but scientists do know it is not inherited. But other troublemaking genes are passed down through the generations. With a few drops of blood and a few thousand dollars, women can learn if they carry inherited mutations important to breast cancer. When I was younger, the um People, the, my aunts and my mother were getting breast cancer one right after another. I had one aunt die in, uh, when she was 30. Sharon Falland was afraid she'd also die young from breast cancer, but she was able to do something about her concerns, take a test that was unavailable to her mother and her aunts. She sent blood samples and nearly $2,700 to this lab in Salt Lake City, Utah. Myriad Genetics is in the business of discovering and patenting disease-causing genes. Researchers here sift through thousands of DNA strands from cancer-prone families, searching for genetic time bombs. You look for people that have a disease of interest, in this case breast cancer, and look for people in the fa same families that do not, and then try and figure out what the genetic differences between those are. Uh, using, information, using genetic information, you pare down uh, the region in a chromosome where the, the variations occur and you're able to, to, to focus down on a small, small region where the gene potentially exists. What the Myriad Company and a team of international researchers discovered in the mid-1990s transformed breast and ovarian cancer detection, research and treatment. They found two genes and dubbed them BRCA1 and 2, short for breast cancer 1 and 2. The BRCA genes make proteins that seem to repair damage in other genes. No one is exactly sure how the BRCA proteins work, but when one or both of these genes are mutated, they may leave damaged breast and ovarian cells free to spiral toward cancer. Lifetime probability of having breast cancer in a woman who is born with a mutation uh, can be as high as 87 percent. The lifetime risk of ovarian cancer can be as high as 44 percent. And the lifetime probability of breast cancer, ovarian cancer, or both in that individual can be as high as 93 percent. Researchers have tracked BRCA mutations through multiple generations 
and found that even fathers can pass it to their daughters, and affected men can get breast cancer too. BRCA mutations cause an estimated 150,000 breast cancer cases worldwide each year, and the cancers usually strike women while they're young. I have BRCA too. I always say I'm a mutant, <laughs> but um, what, especially I guess when I found out other people didn't have it, then I, I feel more strange, more mutant, I say. Sharon Fallon survived breast cancer 16 years ago. Today she sees a genetic counselor to help her and her family face tough realities. A BRCA mutation never goes away, and since mutations are inherited, family dynamics can get complicated. Test positive and you may feel lingering depression and despair. Test negative and you may feel relief, even guilt. In my family, I think it's a real gift to find out you don't have it because I think everybody kind of assumes that they do. So I think the gift is some people can be relieved and some people can, you know, be know that they, they're worried for a good reason <laughs> if they're worried about it. Today, women likely to get breast cancer with or without mutations can do more than worry. They can act to delay and sometimes prevent cancer. Getting mammograms and breast exams early and often can help catch cancer early enough to treat it. Some high-risk women take the drug tamoxifen. The drug can cut a woman's breast cancer risk in half for at least five years. Some women can and do take more radical action. High-risk women can have surgery to remove their perfectly healthy breasts and sometimes their healthy ovaries. Removing as much breast tissue as possible can lower cancer risks 90 to 95 percent. Women who choose surgery often have no detectable cancer. With breast cancer, gene testing opens doors for some prevention, early detection, and treatment. But invasive cancer still kills 30 to 40 percent of women who get it. So for now, women hope that by buying BRCA tests, they're ultimately buying time. I didn't think I'd live this long. It's interesting to still be living and, and feel good. And, and um, when I talk to my cousins, they're, you know, they say it's good to see somebody survive. The National Cancer Institute suggests that women over the age of 40 should get a mammogram every one to two years. A mammogram is a low-dose x-ray that can detect breast cancers years before a lump can be felt. The Secrets of the Sequence teaching materials were developed at Virginia Commonwealth University with funding from the National Academy of Sciences and the Pfizer Foundation. The original public television series, Secrets of the Sequence, was produced by Ward Television with funding from Pfizer, the Pfizer Foundation, Oracle, and the Council for Biotechnology Information. Special thanks to member institutions of the series advisory board, consisting of Virginia Commonwealth University, Harvard University, University of Wisconsin, University of Michigan, University of California at San Francisco, and the MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology, Cambridge, England.